it's taken me a long time to get to this, this decision. I mean, 20 years was my life of gymnastics and you can't just walk away from something like that. And I needed that year to really know in my heart of heart that whether I could do it or not. And it was a tough decision. You've got Commonwealth Games next year, but I've had a period where I've just been training and I know that my passion now is inspiring that younger generation. I love working with the kids and who knows, they might be the stars of the future. Um, I just knew in my heart that I couldn't give the hours that I was giving this time last year and I've achieved more than I ever thought I would and obviously my last big dream was that Olympic medal and obviously I was lucky enough to pick that up last year. Do you know what, I'm leaving British Gymnastics in the best possible state. I mean, our results at the Olympics last year, we went in with a medal target of one to two medals. We came home with four medals. So we're definitely up to our game over the past four years. They've just recently had the European Youth Olympic Games where both the girls and the boys team came home with medals. So they're definitely in a good place. Um, Max Whitlock is on form. He's definitely one to watch for 2016. And then on the girls' side, You've got so many up and coming talent that um, it's really hard for me to just sort of pick out one. Um, at the minute, I'm just kind of living for the moment. For the past 20 years, everything has been structured. I knew what I wanted to achieve and I wasn't going to give up until I achieved it. And obviously the big thing in my life at the minute is inspiring that younger generation. And then I'm just enjoying life. I'm doing a few crazy daredevil things that I've not been allowed to do um, in case I got injured. So um, I'm doing a few things like that and that's kind of keeping me busy at the minute.